this has been such an incredible high energy three days coming into a new printmaking process because I was a traditional printmaker back in the 70s. So these new materials, the solar plates, the Akua inks, the non-toxic materials, really very, very different. The results are different, but it's fun to make quick decisions. So we could do a plate like this and say, well, let's change that color and see what would happen if the background color were lighter. Mm -hmm. And then we can change the color of the ink. And so it was a lot of wipe the plates, put them back down, try it again. And as Jeff told me, we did about 40 prints in three days. And if you get 10 good ones that you're really proud of, and it turns out that we think we have them, yeah. right? At and least that many. So show some of your... This, I think this print was, it's a real gem of a print. Um, just the way the colors are working together, it's, it's, uh, it has kind of some Joan Mitchell kind of mm -hmm. qualities in it, that I, but it's still your own print and uh, really kind of high energy and very, the composition, the line work is working well together. And this so. is what's fun about collaborating because it's Jeff's idea. Why don't we take all three of your, we had three plates in the larger size, ink them up in different colors, thinking about the colors, which layer should go first so that in the end, they all read well together. So those kind of things collaborating mm -hmm. has been, really really great so that's that's an approach that I take with my classes as well mm -hmm. as one-on-one -on -one. so I mean for instance when I'm teaching a class a lot of times people will have different ideas mm -hmm. throughout the class so I'm working with them individually and then the class we're also a lot of times there's spontaneous mm -hmm. interaction that's happening mm -hmm. and ideas are just like generating like this mm -hmm. so we can um, come up with a lot of new ideas just very spontaneously and I like working like that on my own work as well and you make discoveries mm -hmm. just by making errors and wow. and messing things up and it's it's like oh okay yeah that's how that works it's and then a you big can problem try it again. solving yeah. process well Jeff is going to be teaching at Columbia Arts this summer and you've talked quite a few workshops there with us in the past, but talk a little bit about what your intention is this year. So some of the things that we'll be working with will be um, encaustic calligraphs, um, dry point, sheen collet. Uh, we'll probably be working with some carborundum prints more extensively than we have in the past there, and working with value changes and, and real physicality of the prints. So if you're a painter, um, it would be really applicable for you to come in and, and work in this class because you could take a lot of your painting ideas about how you work on a painting, take it and destroy it, bring it back, and we can build the plates in the same way. So you can make the plate, tear it apart, reprint it. And I just did a residency in Ireland this past fall for two months, so I was doing a lot of that and taking plates and building them, taking them apart, putting them back together, mm -hmm. and coming up with some really um, terrific prints and mixing some processes. So we might be doing things like um, printing in registration and then purposely not printing in registration, mm -hmm. just to see how um, an interaction and a looseness starts to develop within the prints. So it's a, it's a fun five days where we're exploring and five days is ideal because you have enough time to put things together, take things apart, and put things back yes, together. Yes, and I have seen that. Well, thank you oh, so thanks, much. Oh, thanks, Dara. It was really fun yeah. having you here all week. It's great to be here. Yeah. Okay. Thanks.